In this demonstration, we're going to have a look at how we can resolve a desktop application compatibility issue by using the Microsoft Application Compatibility Toolkit. The Application Compatibility Toolkit is free of charge, you don't pay for it. You can download it from Microsoft and you can use it to troubleshoot legacy applications or newer applications. So I've logged on as a standard user. My standard user is a user called Benjamin. Um, Benjamin has an application that he wants to run, so we'll just come into File Explorer. Within File Explorer, what we'll then do is just come to C Drive. And on the C drive, we'll then come into our program files x86, and then finally we'll come to our stock viewer. So the program he wants to run is he wants to run the stock viewer application. So we'll double click the stock viewer application. And as we can see, straight off it's saying we must be an administrator to run this application. So we're happy with that error message. We'll just select OK. But as we can see, it does launch up the stock viewer page itself. So all we're going to do at this point here is we're just going to come up and we're just going to try to do a few things in the application. So we'll come to trends. It's telling us that we've got a problem here. So we're not 100% sure what that problem is. But not worry, we can click OK. We'll then come to our tools. We'll go to our options. And again, it's giving me another error message at this point here. So we've definitely got some issues with this application itself. So what we'll do is We'll try to figure out why we're getting these problems. But we'll click continue at this point here. Now we'll just come to tools again. And all we'll do is we'll click on show me a star. Yeah, we've definitely got a problem. It's telling us here the application requires Windows XP, but we're running Windows 10. So we'll select OK. And we'll just close down stock view because that's definitely not going to run. So at this point here, I'm just going to say the program ran successfully. We know it didn't, but now what we'll do is we'll try to run this application as an administrator. So we'll right click, we'll just run as administrator. It's just going to ask me to log in. So I'll just log in as my administrator account. Put in the password. Ah, we'll just say yes. So we can see the program is working. So let's just come back to our trends again. Now that seems to be working fine. Okay. Then what we'll do is we'll come to tools and we'll come to options. So yeah, again, that seems to be working okay. And then we'll just go to tools and show me star. Ah, right, we've still got a problem. So we'll select okay at this point here and we'll just close down that application. So what we're going to do now is we're going to create a compatibility fix. And we're going to do that logged in as administrator. And we're going to do that by using some of the Windows assessment and deployment kits that we can download. So we'll just log off and log back on as administrator. So we're now logged in as administrator. So what we're going to do is we're just going to click on our start button. We're just going to come to our Windows kits. So like I said, this is a free download. So we'll come to our Windows kits. And in our Windows kits, what we're going to do is we're just going to run our compatibility administrator program. Now what it's going to do, it's just going to come in and we just have to do a little bit of configuration. So let's just maximize this up. So as we can see, it's going to create this database. That's not very friendly. Let's rename that. Let's make it something else. So what we'll do is we'll call it a datum and then we'll call it ACT. And all we'll do is we'll hit the enter key just so we've got that named. So now let's create our application fix. So we'll just right click and all we're going to do at this point here is we're just going to come to create new. And we're going to go for an application fix. Then what we need to do is we just need to find out some of this information. And all we're doing is we're going to call this uh, stock viewer. We don't really know who the vendor is, but what we do have is we do have the location of the executable that we wish to fix. So at this point here, we can now select next. Now what we get is we get our compatibility mode. So what we need to do is we just need to modify some of this. So one of the error messages we saw is that that application required Windows XP. So what we're going to do is we're going to run this program in compatibility mode and we're going to select our Windows XP. And the other reason why it didn't work is we weren't logged in as administrator. So we do have an option. If we scroll quite a way down, we do have an option to run this as admin. Fortunately, it is in alphabetical order. So we'll also have run as admin. We're happy with all this. We'll select next. Now we get our compatibility fixes section. I don't need to modify any of this, so we can just select next. Then what we've got now are matching information. So we can add files in, we can move files, we can auto generate. All I'm going to do at this point here is I'm just going to select finish. And then finally what we need to do is we just need to save this off. So I'll just click my save button. 
and on my save button at this point here what we're going to do is we're just going to save this in the root of c and in the case of the root of c i'm just going to call this uh, a datum act now we've done that we can select save so now we've saved that off we can just close down this compatibility administrator window we don't need that anymore got this up and running so the next thing to do is to just log back in as Benjamin and see if we have actually created this application fix so again we'll just log out and log back in as Benjamin so the first thing we need to do is we just need to actually run that fix so we have logged on as Benjamin so I'm going to come along now as administrator and all I'm going to do at this point here is I'm just going to run a command prompt CMD now what we're going to do is we're going to run this as administrator so we'll just right click on this and we'll just run this as administrator it's going to prompt me for the administrator username and password. Now we'll put that in place. We'll just say yes. Bring us into the command prompt. But what we'll do, just make this a little bit easier to read. Let's just make the font a bit bigger. 28 should be big enough. And then what we need to do is we just now need to actually run that compatibility fix. And we're going to do that by using an SDB then inst. Now we have that in place, we'll just do a space and we'll do c colon backslash a datum and then act dot sdb. So that's the database we created before. Now what we do is we just hit the enter key. And as we can see, it's now installed our fix. Well, hopefully installed our fix. So the next thing we'll do is we can get rid of this command prompt now. We don't really need that there, so let's just minimize that down. Then what we'll do is we'll come into File Explorer. Then in File Explorer, we'll just go to our C drive. And in our C drive, we're going to go to the Program, Files. We're going to come back to Stock Viewer again. And now what we're going to do is we're just going to double click on Stock Viewer. So we can see straight away, it's now asking us to run this application as administrator. So obviously real world we would have created an admin equivalent for Benjamin purely to run this application. So we'll just say yes to this. So that'll launch up the application. So now what we can do is we can come to our trends. So we can see the trends are definitely working. So that's fine. So we're happy with that. Then we'll come to our tools, go to our options. It doesn't really matter that we don't have that option, but that's in place. Then the next thing to do is come to our tools and come to our show me your store. Uh, what pops up is a star so at this point here we fixed the program so that's brilliant so we're happy with that so we can close this down now we don't need that anymore close this down don't need that anymore and then we'll get rid of the star as well so in this demonstration what we've done is we've used the application compatibility kit which again is a free download to create a fix for the application so at this point here yes that did work correctly and that's it in this demonstration thank you